Hello and welcome to this video about the Harrier, a jet-powered attack aircraft that can take off and land vertically. In this video, we will explore how the Harrier can hover in the air with its jet engine and what are the advantages and challenges of this technology. Stay tuned to find out how the Harrier uses its four nozzles to control its thrust and direction and how it differs from other aircraft in terms of aerodynamics and maneuverability. The Harrier, also known as the Jump Jet, is a family of aircraft developed by the British company Hawker Siddeley in the 1960s. The Harrier is a V-stall aircraft, which means it can perform vertical or short takeoff and landing operations. This allows the Harrier to operate from improvised bases, such as car parks or forest clearings, without requiring large and vulnerable air bases. But how does the Harrier hover with its jet engine? The answer lies in its unique engine design and its four nozzles. The Harrier uses a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine, which produces a stream of fast-moving air through four nozzles located in pairs under its wings. These nozzles can rotate and thus position themselves either directly backward for straight horizontal flight or downward when being used for vertical takeoff or landing. By pointing the nozzles downward, the Harrier can generate enough thrust to lift itself off the ground and hover in the air. The thrust must be equal to the weight of the aircraft, and the pilot can adjust the thrust by changing the engine power or the nozzle angle. The Harrier can also move forward, backward, or sideways by tilting the nozzle slightly in the opposite direction. For example, by tilting the nozzles forward, the Harrier can move backward. However, hovering with a jet engine is not an easy task. The Harrier faces several challenges such as stability, control, and fuel consumption. Unlike a helicopter, which uses a rotor to create lift and a tail rotor to counteract torque, the Harrier relies on its jet thrust and its reaction control system to maintain its position and attitude. The reaction control system consists of small valves that release pressurized air from the engine or the fuselage to provide small forces for pitch, roll, and yaw control. The Harrier also has to deal with the effects of the jet blast on the ground, which can create dust, debris, and noise. The Harrier has to avoid hovering over soft or uneven surfaces, which can cause damage to the aircraft or the engine. The Harrier also has to avoid hovering for too long, as it consumes a lot of fuel and reduces the range and endurance of the aircraft. The Harrier typically uses its hovering capability only for takeoff and landing, and switches to conventional flight mode for cruising and combat. The Harrier's ability to hover and fly at low speeds gives it some advantages over other aircraft, such as flexibility, stealth, and agility. The Harrier can operate from a variety of locations, such as ships, roads, or fields, and can avoid detection by radar or infrared sensors. The Harrier can also perform impressive maneuvers, such as the VIFing, which stands for vectoring in forward flight, and involves pointing the nozzles downward while flying forward to rapidly decelerate and surprise the enemy. The Harrier is a remarkable aircraft that can hover with its jet engine, thanks to its innovative design and engineering. The Harrier can perform vertical or short takeoff and landing operations, and can fly at low speeds and high angles of attack, the Harrier is also a versatile and adaptable aircraft that can perform various roles, such as air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. The Harrier has been used by several countries, such as the United Kingdom, the United States, Spain, and India, and has seen action in several conflicts, such as the Falklands War, the Gulf War, and the war in Afghanistan. What do you think of the Harrier and its hovering capability? Do you like its design and performance, or do you prefer other aircraft and technologies? Do you think there are other aircraft that can hover with a jet engine, or that have surpassed the Harrier's achievements? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.